So, uh, to be completely honest, was not expecting to be able to do this so soon after the previous hunt, um, because as this hunt was a random encounter slash battle KO message hunt, um, I was totally expecting it to be like the previous ones I've done and taking some time. But I think I wanted to say that this might just end up being shorter than my hunt for Sobble. So yeah, uh, I think my study session grind while hunting for coughing has paid off as well. Um, as I touch on in the part after finding the shiny, I ended up finding this shiny clubopus within 535 encounters. Thankfully I did learn from my time hunting for coughing and decided to prep for the hunt by catching everything the Pokedex would of, yeah, anything everything around the Pokedex in the area Clobberpuss spawned in, apart from Clobberpuss. Just so like I don't know the odds, but just so I wasn't making a common Pokemon less common just by having the Poke Pokedex recommend other Pokemon instead of that one. This ended up helping somewhat, um, but because I don't actually know how much it would have changed the odds, I <laughs> can't really say. Believe Delzma, Dumbeyes, and um, Jellicent are quite rare, I believe, and I still found a few of them popping about when normally that wouldn't really be the thing. Um, but yeah, um, the area of Route 9 I hunted in, just in front of Spike Myth, um, was a little bit awkward to hunt in, just traversing the area. You had the hilly path, which wasn't so bad, um, although oddly enough the lighting just had some odd instances there, but getting behind the, like, nook on top of that hill area it was a little bit awkward only because I didn't want to fight the gym, the trainers there um, because I wanted to save them until after I found the shiny, which ended up happening. And then of course there's the fenced off area towards the back of back entrance. And I found myself kind of avoiding checking that area only because if there was a Pokemon down in the corner there, a lot of the time on my way back I would run into a random encounter. <laughs> Actually, I believe that's how I kind of found out that um we could find Lipard on that route because um just didn't really know. <laughs> I didn't find it in my initial um catching spree. Also, I wasn't really too sure if I was able to walk enough distance away to despawn the current encounters to get new ones in. In fact. It could have just been pure simple coincidence, but I think even going through the water and coming back, it kept the same spawns in? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure on how that would have worked. Like, it probably would have just been pure coincidence, although... Do I want to look back through all the footage to see how many times that, has, that occurred? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a few things I want to touch on before I cut ahead to the shiny. Um, is the fact that this is the last hunt I've had an idea of when exactly I wanted to hunt a specific Pokemon. Because I guess you could also kind of call this a Dream Team hunt, the Shiny Dream Team hunt, um, as way back when Sword and Shield were about to release on the build-up hype, um, I looked through all the Pokemon that looked interesting and I was like, I really wanted to use these Pokemon, and, you know, cut forward how many years later, um, finally got up to this point, but that kind of leaves me in a somewhat awkward spot in the fact that I'm not entirely sure on what I want to do for the next hunt, and even beyond that, um, because if I didn't get my targets in these, it, this one would be a good idea. That would be a perfect idea to go back and try to get them, but because I got lucky in more than well, in more ways than one, I don't really have to do that. I've kind of been planning on doing Grookey, the reason being he is the Pokemon I chose as my starter. I can even show that on my trainer card thingy that my first Pokemon was a Grookey. 
which you'll really notice much. I could also hunt for a Galarian Slowpoke, um, because I think way back when, when I first got the DLC until now, um, every Nurse Joy I've been to in the Pokemon Center, every time I've gone to heal, or gone to heal, um, they've pestered me about a specific, like, a unique Pokemon I could find at a specific spot, but I'm thinking of saving that for later, because I've got something in pla something planned that I'm hoping I can do. Like, that sort of thing. Um, and I also think it's not fitting enough for the 8th hunt, especially since I want to use it in the fight against Raihan, and uh, using an unevolved psychic poison type, I believe it is, probably not the best idea. Like, I know normal Slowpoke is tanky as shit, but don't really know. Next idea I have for the 8th hunt is a specific fossil. I don't want to say which one, but I've looked into it and the fact I'm playing sword makes prepping for that hunt much, much harder. Much harder than it has to be, so if I do end up going through that route, there will be a significant grind in between actually being able to do the hunt. <laughs> I mean, I could do that now, or I could start now. Only problem is it will take a little bit longer to do than what I have in plan. That kind of something. But anyway, here is me freaking out because I was totally not expecting to find a shiny clubopus. I even remember that when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? Why? <laughs> So, so yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a shiny, um, going to have to be a little bit careful here as, um, to be frankly honest, was not expecting this, um, here I was thinking, or rather, wanting this hunt like, it would have been nice if this hunt was under a thousand, or at the very least, odds, like, uh, under odds, but uh, no, this is number 535. What the fuck? Huh? Like, I'm... <laughs> I'm not prepared. I wasn't expecting this. But I will take an under odds hunt. Because, god damn. <laughs> the last few have... The last few hunts have been... So over odds, they're just not funny. Apart from the previous one, but... I'm mostly talking about the um, random encounter slash battle ki battle KO things, but yeah, um, it will it will show you just how quickly this thing, just quickly in comparison, this has been to the other hunts. Yeah, um, the number battle isn't even maxed out yet. In fact. <laughs> You can tell that I've battled or encountered 14 other things. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm so ill prepared for, for this that I don't even have a name for this quite just yet. Um, I have an idea. Um, but whether I end up sticking with Octavio, I will have to think about. But yeah, um... 
little Octavia. Uh, uh, let's see, it's it's summary first. Um, adamant would be nice. That's not adamant. Um, does that boost its speed? I think that does boost its speed, which is kind of pointless since I believe it's quite slow. Um, but yeah, um, Centaur Box now because um, if you can't tell from what my team looks like at the moment, I was just using or getting stuff to grind out, or grind it out. Um, but yeah, um, actually, let's go here. Let's get <laughs> get into a counter with it. Um, I was a little bit worried about this, as um, well, worried about encountering it, encountering it, as um, it has a mission and don't really want it to kill itself. Um, I was throwing in the few encounters with its evolution that you can find up in the water there, um, and was silently hoping that I didn't find that one shiny, as not only does I have to, do I have to worry about it, its moves, but I do also have to worry about the hail there, so... Finding a clop shiny clobber horse is much more to be desired. I'm just fine with that, man. <laughs> I was not expecting to find it today. But, as you can probably tell, um, I think before I evolve it, which I don't think I'll do in this recording session, maybe, I mean, can't really say I'll do it when we go to the gym because like we're in front of the gym pretty much. Um, I'm thinking what I'll do before that point is I will take the team camping as don't think I've ever alluded to this within this series um but as well as doing a, a bit of a bad que a badge quest I decided to have a bit of a dream team theme as well um so that's why these six Pokemon are going to be in my team um don't know if you can um, camp on a route. I think you have to do it in the wild area. I believe. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. Um, let's see the guys. So I just realised I sh probably had saved. But yeah, there's little Octavio, Octavio with the with the guys, Marimba, Chirps, Nagisa, <laughs> Lipton's off doing her thing. Can I call them? Beat the ever living shit out of them, I guess. Uh... Okay, um. I guess that just goes to show how much I know about this game, actually. Um. I didn't know you could use the R stick to swivel this around. Can I, get, can I get the other guys in here, please? <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. Let's go cooking. Just, for, just for a bit.
Um. Well then, uh. <laughs> I'm thinking that before we take on the gym with Octavio, I might go back through Route 9 and believe go through Route 7 and battle all the trainers I passed on the way there.